Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is now Sunday the 14th. It is the day after the event. I was hoping to record a bunch of check-ins throughout the day. I was there from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., about 12 hours. Like I was there for a while and honestly, we had another hour and a half to go and I was like done. <laughs> um, but let's start off with how great the event was. The event was amazing. So the event was called Market on the Hill at Barn Preserve, which is an animal preserve. So they had ostriches, they had those, they're like little short cows. I don't know if it's Highlander cows or, I'm not positive on the name of the cow, but I can post a picture here. He was so adorable. He was right behind us. Um, it did not smell at all. I know a few people were like, ooh, is it going to smell? No, it did not. There was at one point, somebody made a comment about a smell and I had not smelt it. And then as soon as she made that comment, I did smell it, but I didn't even, I was so busy. <laughs> like I was so busy. The smell and anything else besides me doing hats was the only thing on my mind. Um, we did so good. So my goal for yesterday was a thousand dollars and we surpassed that. <laughs> we surpassed that by like 12 o'clock. So the event was open to the public at 10 by 11, 11 30, maybe we were already over $700. Um, it took me a good two hours to set up. I think I had enough time to sit down and do a few of the hat chains that I needed to add to the collection just in case I sold all my hat chains because I had a few people on Facebook asking if we were going to have hat chains. So I was able to sit down and do about four hat chains before somebody came. Um, leading up to the event, it was very stressful, not as far as like work-wise, but just trying to figure out when somebody was going to be there to help me. I do have two little babies and I had, my mom woke up late. I don't think she woke up till 445 when I was texting her, asking her to print out some labels for me. She was running late. She was going to come to watch the kids while my husband helped me go all the way over there to set up. It was about 30 minutes away from my house, but it was gorgeous. Um, at, like the drive over there, it was dark in the morning cause I had to be there at six. But the drive home, it was gorgeous, even though it was wore out. So it was very beautiful over there. A lot of land, a lot of trees, not not city at all. Um, but anyway, so my mom got here kind of late. I jetted out. We had no coffee. Um, my mom's car needed gas. My husband took my mom's car because his truck's in the shop. I mean, when I tell you it was just pure chaos, but in good ways, in blessed ways, it was chaos. Um, so anyways, we got there on time. I got there at six o'clock. I started setting up. My husband was able to set up my tent with me and just get all the big things and everything out of my vehicle because we had to literally get everything out of our vehicle and then go park and then come back and set up. Um, so I was there at six. I was probably the third, third or fourth vendor to get there. <laughs> um, but they had me in a really good spot. So I was very thankful for that there. It was very dewy out in the, in the pasture or the grass areas and I had jeans on so that didn't really go over well but I rolled them up and kept going I wasn't gonna let that stop me I wasn't gonna let that you know bring on into any insecurities because my whole outfit it was a whole vibe that I was going for with my trucker hats so anyways we I got set up I was able to set up everything my mom had to after my husband got back home to, cause my babies were sleeping. That's why I didn't want to wake the kids up to bring them out there. So my mom helped watch them while my husband helped me. My husband came back, my mom went out there and then I did have one of our good friends daughter come and help us. She is a high schooler, but she's been helping me here and there and she's doing so well. And when I tell you she picked up our little POS portable system, she did great. She did wonderful with it. She was able to just sit there and just scan the co the codes on the hats and take payments. It was awesome. So I'm super thankful for all of that. I'm super thankful for all of the help that we had. Um, but yeah, so by five o'clock, my feet were killing me because that whole vibe I was trying to go for did not work out for my feet or my legs. And uh, <laughs> so we were supposed to actually stay till 730. But when I tell you, when I by four o'clock and the amount of money we had made, I was like, y'all, I'm ready. I'm done. I'm tired. I had a couple tacos for lunch. I did not have a whole lot to eat. I didn't have a whole lot downtime. We were slammed and busy. As soon as I got done setting up, we had customers coming and the customers were actually other vendors 
that were just coming around and I felt so bad because I wanted to be able to do that but I couldn't do that because I was the only one running the hat and running the heat press and you know helping people pick out the patches and all that so I did have help but like for the actual manual labor, it was me the whole time. So I really could not leave. I left maybe twice to go pee, but that was about it. Um, but anyways, I would definitely do this event again. I am going to post some video of me setting up here next. While that runs, I'm going to try and work on the maintenance on my machine because I am behind. Um, and then let's see what else is there. So this video will come out on Tuesday. I have some new stuff that I want to do with my foam that I used last weekend. Y'all saw my video. We have a bunch of new stuff coming. I keep seeing new products get being put out. So I definitely want to try one of the products that I saw. It looks really cool. It's more like an embossed kind of effect on a sweatshirt. So I definitely want to try that today. I have a couple of orders that I have to fill and I have to organize. I mean, I did come in here this morning and I cleaned clean up all my hats. I need to put my patches up. I need to kind of go through a few more things just to kind of organize and get it back into position so nothing is out of place. But for the most part, everything is pretty organized and put back in place besides just random stuff here and there. <laughs> but anywho, okay, so I'm going to run some of my setup video that I took. Again, I wanted to do check-ins, but I was not able to. I I think I might set down twice so definitely wasn't able to do that but y'all can definitely see some of how I set up my stuff and I will show the video that I posted on my Instagram and on Facebook after this which is what everything is looks like and how it's all set up um I think it turned out really good and I'm super excited about it so here y'all go y'all can watch the video
Okay, so like I said, it was a lot of fun. Um, I definitely want to do it next year. That was just a little snippet of me setting up some of it. It wasn't a very good angle. I completely forgot to bring my tripod. Um, so anyways, I made this my machine. I went ahead and... What's that? Well, I may have to redo this shirt now. Um, I went ahead and did one of these shirts and my light is out. So sorry for the bad lighting. I'm not sure what that is. I don't even know where the heck that came from, but that is my little design. This is my nine by eight mighty hoop. And yeah, I always use my mighty hoops except for my larger ones. I do not have a very large mighty hoop. I think I have like a nine by 13, but for me to use it, I have to switch the arms out and I don't want to have to always do that. So I barely use that one. Um, so I do use a lot of these milk. I do use these Melcos a lot. So anyways, my nine by eight mighty hoop, absolutely love them. Check them out. I have a free shipping code in my link and also some other exciting news. I have a ton of exciting news for this video. Um, where do I start? We got 500 subscribers on YouTube, so thank y'all so much. It's so exciting, and I love making these videos and putting them out there. Y'all have so much like encouraging things. Y'all ask a lot of questions, and I'm so happy I'm able to help any way that I can. Um, another exciting thing is we are buying a camper. So you may see some content of us camping. Um, we used to camp a good bit years ago, and... We got out of it, we had kids, and now the kids are just getting into everything. But not only that, they love being outside. They love, you know, we cook outside. We, we, we're just always outside. And I truly think like getting them into nature and just going to these different parks and they got stuff for kids to do, just going and doing more things at an affordable cost is camping. And I'm so excited. I have been looking for campers for a while. I was able to go camper shopping a couple weeks ago. We narrowed down exactly what we wanted and the guy literally was like, wait a minute, I have two coming in this week, like tomorrow. And so I had to jump on it. So we had really bad weather one day last week and had no electricity, <laughs> but we managed to get out there and go check out this particular model because they only had two of them. And they said they're, they're most popular model and they do not stay on the lot so we got out there as soon as we could it was horrible weather we did it though <laughs> and we were able to see it the kids were with us they were they were able to see it and put their eyes on it even though they don't know what's going on really but um yeah we, we we signed all the paperwork and it's gonna be ours soon and so i'm so excited about that maybe we'll have a little bit of that content maybe i'll create a whole nother youtube for that content because i did not even know there is a whole youtube world of rvers out there so definitely love that so anyways that it's been really exciting it's, i feel like it's always exciting but it's been really exciting the pop-up or the event yesterday was great and we got four big orders to get out by like the end of next week and a lot of that is my mom's stuff she is already on a roll she has everything laid out and ready to go i'm going to keep trucking but i cannot video or maybe I shouldn't video the next part because it is a Taylor Swift design and I don't want to get copyrighted or dinged or whatever they do to you here on YouTube. So 
I have a, I think she's a grandma that has bought a lot of stuff from me from the store in Zachary. And she wants Taylor Swift's whole head embroidered on two shirts. They are bright pink and fun. So this is the shirt that it's going to go on. I'm downloading the design now and I'm going to get started on that. I know it's going to take a while and I have two of those to do. So I have that and then I have a racing jacket I have to do for another customer. That should complete my customer orders. Oh, I take that back. I have stuff at the store I have to go grab. But that should complete what I have for customers in here. And then my plan was to try to go to the store this afternoon to drop this stuff off and pick up other stuff. But I don't think I'm going to make it just because of the time frame. My husband will be home soon. And within an hour, I have to go get my kids. So, and I know these two things are going to take a while. Um, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit, click that subscribe button. Make sure you click the notification bell to get notified every time I put a video out. I am going to film some more for my video on Thursday. But thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye.